Welcome everyone to today's Talent Boost networking and matchmaking event. I'm Emma Jelly, your moderator for this morning. I'm thinking about you all settled in various home offices around Finland, like me, and possibly even abroad. Um, perhaps you're an international talent, looking forward to learning more about what resources are available to you here in Finland, um, and looking forward to initiating some one-to-one -one networking opportunities. Uh, perhaps you represent a company starting out on your internationalization journey, also looking to learn more, maybe meet some talent. Uh, perhaps you're an active member of the Talent Boost Network, which is a nationwide network of people supporting international talent initiatives. And you're seeking to uh, share information and broaden your networks even further. Collaboration is super welcome. So welcome to you all. And thanks in particular to those in the Talent Boost Network um, who've been supporting this uh, initiative today. And special thanks to uh, the Course Towards Finland project from the ELU Centre of Southwest Finland and to TE Live, who together made it possible for us to be using this uh, deal room platform. And TE Live provided the, the, the content that'll be live streaming on TE Live. Uh, so here on main stage today, I'll be engaging in a number of panel discussions. I think we've got up to about 23 speakers today. Um, some of the slots will be quite short. We'll be moving on um, with uh, attention to time, but packed with information and insights uh, from people across the our shared international talent landscape here in Finland. So you're welcome to stay with me here at the main stage all day if you really want, or you can mix and match. You can go and uh, visit the virtual stands that some organizations have here today. And there are company broadcasts on the TE Live channel, and there'll be the one-to-one -one networking meetups uh, also on Deal Room. So if you look on the program for this session you'll and the, the blurb under welcome, you'll see some um, guidance information. If you're not yet uh, very familiar with Deal Room, I'd like a bit of guidance on how to navigate your way around here. So now let's start with an introduction and a welcome from uh, two speakers who've been championing this event from the very beginning. So we have Marko Lahtinen, who is the director of the Helsinki Chamber of Commerce. Hello. <laughs> and Paula Andola, who's the Director of Economic Development for the City of Espoo. Good morning. Yeah, welcome to you both. So to start, let's kick off. I'm sure we'd all be interested to hear more about how this event fits into the bigger international talent strategy of Finland. And um, Dola, would you like to tell us a bit more about that? Yes, thanks, Emma. I'm happy to join you and all the attendees. Uh, of these Talent Boost network e networking events this morning. You are all warmly welcome to this event organized by the Chamber of Commerce and the City of Espo. This event is a part of activities of the National Talent Boost Program, which is a cross-administrative program designed to attract and, and retain international talent to Finland, to help them with immigration and to support Finnish companies on their international growth. The availability of talent is one of the main challenges which Finnish companies face as they want to expand and become more international. Mm -hmm. Simply, Finnish companies need more skilled employees than Finland has to offer. The Talent Boost program provides a framework for the cross-administrative collaboration required to attract and retain talent in Finland to bridge this gap and therefore it is a crucial element of our national competitiveness strategy. Well, the program aims to make Finland better known and more attractive. In addition to talent attraction, it is so important to focus on retention activities like today's event. Utilizing the international resources that we already have in Finland, you, is the best possible way to support the growth, internationalization and innovation activities of the Finnish companies. For us, the cities like Espo, Helsinki, Tampere, Turku, Vanta and others, Talent Boost program is seen as a fundamental part of the economic development agenda and essential services for the local companies and corporations. Well, both industry and international talents are stakeholders of talent. The public and third sector representatives are here to support you on this journey. 
Once again, on my behalf and, and on behalf of the city of Espoo, you are all warmly, warmly welcome to enjoy it of the day. So, Marku, what are your regards to the attendees? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Tula, Tula and Emman. I'm I'm glad to be be here. Uh, I could somehow somehow say a few words about how how these talents fits into Finland's and companies' future future plans. It has been surveyed that in the long run, new highly skilled workplace generates five new jobs. And as we all know, in Finland, we have at least 30,000 highly educated international talents. So there is a hidden potential over 100,000 workplaces just within our arm reach. Accidentally, the government of Finland has also heading to create 100,000 new, new workplaces. One might figure out that the problem is solved. Let's get jobs for the inter international degree students, for example, don't we? Unfortunately, the development has been so far unforgivable slow. Should we individual hap happy taxpayers, newcomers, companies and cities be worried? Not at all. Today, I sincerely believe that we are now on the water, watershed in a good way. There are many strong signs that the fast progress is taking place. I'm confident that there will be a there will be in the future more Finnish companies that have more international business and as a result there will be also more employment possibilities for international talents. Is this just my Im imagination? Definitely not. First of all, there is no absolutely other alternatives available if we want to sustain our today's standard of living. Secondly, a long-term governmental talent boost program starts paying off. Talent Boost program has created a sound base for developing talent attraction management in Finland. This has been especially important for the capital area where lives over the half of foreign origin citizens and where the most international business is generated. Talent Boost has enabled to us to create a strong national regional ecosystem as Tula already referred. This ecosystem has put a lot of efforts creating new services, networking, best practices for both international talents and especially for companies. And as we all know, at the end of the day, companies are those who make decisions go international, not to recruit or recruit. But I think this is, this is going a good direction at the moment. Thank you. Great. That's an interesting fact about um, international talent uh, producing more jobs. Like, hire, were you saying one to five? That if you hire one international, it can result in the creation of five jobs. Yeah, actually, so one high skilled uh, workplace generates, in the long run, five new new jobs. There are mm -hmm. high skilled and also also mm -hmm. vocational education based. Uh, job opportunities available. Mm -hmm. That is uh, actually studied in U US in some states. Uh, this is similar to Finnish Finnish uh, mm. economy, the society. So mm. it's comparable. Mm. Um, during the preparation for today, um, I also came across Helsinki International Entrepreneurs or Entrepreneurs International, chaired by Reggie Roussan, and he has put out some very inter interesting information about uh, international talent um, entrepreneurs creating jobs too so that's any listeners interested in that side really I recommend googling him and that um, initiative so now uh, if you've both been uh, deeply invested in international talent for a number of years I know your heart is really in this topic mm -hmm. your heart and soul so uh, what aspects of progress Thula perhaps you'd like to start what aspects a progress have delighted you the most over the years yeah. and also maybe tell us a bit about what's your dream regarding the future for international talent. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the question Emma. Uh, well as an alumnus of, of the Aalto University which is among the most international universities of Europe uh, facilitating the employment of foreign students, researchers and their exposures in Finland is something which is always very close to my heart. Therefore, I'm very happy about the recent joint efforts of the cities, universities and, and companies to support this progress. And one enabler for this is to strengthen the working life connections of international students already during their studies. And we do have something interesting ideas to support this with the uh, technology industries of Finland, for example. Stay tuned. And about the dreams. 
so far, the talent boost activities have been operated and funded in a project-based manner. In my dreams, uh, hopefully in near future, these services uh, are business as usual, an embedded element of other doings, not something separate ones. I'm also dreaming about seeing more, many more people with international backgrounds to work for the public sector in Finland. For example, in Espo, uh, we aim to have our employees as a big percentage of people with an international background that are uh, among our residents, which is, by the way, 18% at the moment, one eighth. Uh, when shall we see the similar goal setting in state government, is my question. Hmm. Good question. Not sure if this panel doesn't uh, have anyone representing that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> thanks for sharing your dreams, Tuula uh, and Marco. Um, yeah, there are many, many, many um, positive uh, developments taking place. And what what delight, delight me most, but I mentioned at least a few few things. Uh, I think a re remarkable innovation was to establish this International House Helsinki. It was uh, established 2017 and it's uh, some kind of one-stop shop where you can take care of all of these uh, red tape issues in, in a, within a few hours. And uh, actually it's uh, some kind of many many cross uh, cross administration administrations are 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 there working together and also also there is a private sector partners partners involved but it's a very good concept and it has been it has been also planted outside of Helsinki region too and it's a good start it's not ready yet but it's really promising platform for example develop further uh, recruiting and matching services for talents and companies but uh, I think time will tell but this is really promising promising um, uh, innovation made here in, in Finland and uh, during the past years, the Chamber has also happily joined this talent attraction uh, management under, under the Talent Boost program. We are running actually now second round of the successful uh, multicultural company campaign. And the campaign encourages companies and employers to develop diversity internal business and also to recruit more international workforce and our partners there are Ministry of Employment and Economic Affairs, Technical Academies at Business Finland and the Finnish Chamber Network and we are also hosting at the moment the, the cross-cultural mentoring program entry point that connects companies and international talents and according to feedback by employers and mentors and mentees the joint journey has been very very successful in every program and you will hear more about the entry point today from uh, Marina Ponore, Ponomareva who has her own presentation about the topic but anyways these kind of matching events what we are now now today we are also running those several bunch of them and and these are something that are needed desperately companies need to find these hidden hidden talent networks and this kind of uh, uh, interaction is also really cost effectiveness both for companies and and uh, and uh, talents and this is something we need to carry on after after this program like under this program in the future as well mm. thanks marco so did i hear that there's international house not helsinki as well there are the similar type of concepts and they are now just evolving and developing but i think the main thing that these state state level authorities they might even utilize this kind of concept providing services in a larger scale not only regionally but nationally and that's the benefit and also of course this network and interaction what starts starts when the customers come into these kind of uh, service points they can be some kind uh, uh, some kind somehow tracked tracked and also direct to new, uh, different kind of services that helps to find jobs and companies and contacts mm. oh yeah that that that's triggered a thought for me that um we might like to highlight already here in the welcome that 
here we have uh, Tula representing Espo and Marco uh, Helsinki. But of course, wherever you are in Finland, dear participant, uh, you're very welcome because we had the whole of Finland in mind in organizing today. I don't know if Marco or Tula, you might like to open up a bit how come it is that Espo and Helsinki are so much headlined when actually our target is the whole of Finland. Yeah. Maybe one, one good reason is that that uh, around half of, of all the people in Finland with some other mother tongue than Swedish or Swedish are living here in the in the Helsinki capital area. So that makes this talent boost both attraction and retention really, really crucial for, for, for this area, but also I think that for the whole Finland. So we are interested here for, for testing and piloting uh, new solutions, uh, which can be later than, than uh, also, also adapting in other places. And of course, we are all the time learning from, from Tampere, Oulu, Kovola, all the colleagues who are working with the same topic. So, so I think that this is something definitely which we have to be, be doing to, together. It's not only about this for Helsinki or some mm. other yeah. uh, other city in Finland, yeah. but it is of interest yeah. for us. Yeah, and it's really important to understand that uh, companies and business they don't recognize uh, the borders of municipalities mm -hmm. or uh, provinces or even even uh, uh, countries and st states so and this is a nas national wide issue and actually challenge to mm -hmm. we are aging we are probably the most oldest nation in terms of aging in in Europe and uh, maybe Uusimaa county is the only mm -hmm. only province that this population is growing during 2040s or something like that so this mm -hmm. is really important yeah. issue to get get newcomers here in Finland and get them integrated and get especially uh, new talents to to create new new business and new opportunities mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, and so with the, uh, the fact that this there are the stands, the virtual stands today that represent different bits of Finland, and I think it's uh, was it Talent Boost Turku possibly their stand. Mm. They are yeah, probably. yeah, they they um they're coming prepared with some job opportunities that they know of within corporations in their region. So uh, mm. just to encourage yeah. participants to know mm. that that, that uh, if you're sniffing out what opportunities might exist there are others outside of Helsinki Espo like Uusi Kaupunki mm. I think that at Turku they are promoting also these opportunities mm. Yeah. Mm. and and for example today uh, we are here and there but also at the same time in the same virtual platform yeah uh, and, and that makes also Finland even smaller <laughs> in the future when it comes to working. Mm. So I think that's an interesting topic to be discussed also today, mm. where pe people will be living and where the employee, employees, uh, employers are, are based. It could be also a different topic. Yeah, yeah, and this uh, actually this uh, COVID. COVID-19 has not changed any structural things. It makes things a little bit, a little bit di different, but it has not changed these needs that are mm. lying there somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Actually, this, this, this is a new, gives new opportunities for going, going international, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So on that um, exciting note, uh, I think we'll, we'll draw this opening welcome to a close with great thanks to you, Dula and Marco. Thank you. Is that okay? Yes, or Emma, if I, I have a word. So yeah. This is an advertisement. So uh, please visit uh, the webpage, uh, helloesport.fi, where we have a lot of, a lot of information about, uh, about uh, how about coming to, to Finland, to Espo, and if you are already here, or, or, or uh, how, how could I participate with the activities of the community? And please inform us also if there's something missing. So we are really happy to develop this platform as a platform for, for Home Finland. And, and, and it's really, it, it's for you. So hello, Thanks, Dola. 
And now um, we're going to close today's this uh, welcome session. And if you would like to stay with us for the next main stage event, which is on why inclusion makes sense for business, then uh, click out of this and join that session from the programs tab. And that's what I'm going to do now too. So see you there, I hope. Yeah, bye thank bye. you very much. Bye. Have a good day. Enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.